You guys should be able to still see me. And the lighting not too bad. But the lighting kind of bad. But what if you can't really like how I see this? That's better. I'm reading a manga called Patum right now. Patum. B T O O O N. An exclamation mark. It's quite a violent manga. It's very violent. It's very, very, how do I say this? Late 90s, early 2000s type violent manga. And I have to say, like, the main character who's like a hikikomori, a neat, a nerd, a geek. He's inside of time and, you know, he's an absolute loser. <coughs> <coughs> He like gets rejected. He gets like offered a job by his own mom, and like his mom hands his CV resume in into like some wooden place, and his uncle provides him a job and everything, and he rejects it all and doesn't try to you know try to work up in the world anymore. And he like you know he just basically gives up on life. He spends all his time trying to be you know number one in the video game, in top ten in the world, but it's not his job, so he doesn't make any money of it. And he's just being a fucking loser at home. And this like draws great parallels to myself. And now, as I'm saying this, I'm remembering the <laughs> the comment again. Just get money in a life worth living. Just get money in a life worth living. If you have enough money, I can go on holiday where I want. I can invite people I like around and to be hang around with. With money, I get to have the power to you know have a little control my life. Yeah, I have this opportunity to work for my mentors and stuff that I'm not using and it's gonna piss me off. Like I have opportunity around me. I just need to take the opportunity. I need to work fucking harder. I need to work fucking harder. I got I can't end up like this dude in Platoon. And there will be no fucking reality TV show game. There'll just be being a fucking loser at home. An idea that that possibly makes me very, very fucking angry. You know, today I had a lot of fun, you know, family party and everything, but I have to admit the truth, like it was fucking annoying. See, I cannot end up like this. I'll finish this manga and then. No, I'm gonna go sleep. Fuck the manga, bro. I'm gonna go sleep. It's, it's almost 1 am. If I go to sleep, I'm 4 hours ahead of my previous sleep schedule, so that's what we'll be doing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I thought I was surprised something else actually. You know. The worrying thing is that if you're watching this YouTube video, there is a chance that I probably insulted you before. I told you like, oh, get a, stop being a loser, or stop being a gaming geek, stop playing video games, get a life of living, start a business, get a better job, try to earn more money, get more, get more income. If those, those type of things, right? The overall self improvement type of things. There's a chance that I probably told you some of these things, and there's a chance that you're probably being offended by these things as well. And if you're watching this, like, I, I mean, full offence. I mean, full offence. I hope you're genuinely offended by what I say. I hope you consider my words immensely, immensely controversial and offensive. I'm not saying anything like, you know, that will murder children. So nothing like that. Nothing outrageous, right? I'm not saying anything outrageous. Like, I'm not even being, being homophobic. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I think racist, nothing. I'm telling you, stop being a loser. And that, above everything else, seeps into people deeper than racism, homophobia, etc, 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 all the heinous things you possibly think about. Because people are desensitized these days, right? But when you make it about them, oh, now the real shit's happening. Stop being a loser, stop playing video games. I'm attacking things that you love, that you hate. You're my passion, playing video games. You're soulless, brainless. It's, it's, it's mentally destructive. And people still do it. you know why? Because it's, it's one of those things where people haven't escaped. Why are you trying to escape reality? Why are you not trying to face reality for what it is and just accept the fact that it's shit but also tr try to change that actively? Can't you do that instead? Off. If I do it like this, more efficient. If I do it like this, it's more efficient. I can put it in the corner more. I'm gonna plug this in. I, wanna... I don't like it like that. <laughs> Gaming setup. Um, my setup right now is getting hectic. My dog. This chair has gone through Chernobyl, but we're getting new chairs soon. Chairs, because I want to see my room, my office, the area of my room's office. This is just for sleeping. That's it. Period. No reading manga, no reading messages, not none of that shit. I just want my bed for sleeping, like a Brian Johnson. And it's back on the main topic. People are immensely, immensely desensitized to you know heinous things these days. It's it's true. I have to admit. 
But when it, you start making it about them, like, stop being a loser, stop spending so much time on social media, stop playing video games, stop watching porn, stop watching all these things. Like, people get immensely, immensely defensive because they know the fact that it, it, it applies to them. They hear them in those sentences. They think, oh, I kind of did this, like, six hours playing Fortnite or Watch 2. Oh, Watch 2. Oh, it's free, guys. But it's not free. There's a price when you play video games that are free. Your time. Above everything else, you don't have to pay anything up front. And if you pay up front for a game and then you spend time on it, that's even worse because now you're only, not only spending money, you're also spending time, which is a non exhaustible resource, it's an unrenewable resource. Time is an unrenewable resource, it's the king, it's the biggest resource, biggest asset by far. It doesn't matter how old, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how fit you are, it doesn't matter how handsome you are, it doesn't matter how sexy you are, it doesn't matter any of these things, everyone is going to die one day. Everyone has a set amount of time they have. Time is the fire in which we all burn. And with video games, with all these distractions, with all of these things, and I'm like characters like in Batum, where his mother hates him, he sends him off to an island to die, and then she kills herself. That's too fucking hard. It's a fucked up story, guys, I have to say. And I will and never end up like this. I was looking at my window, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna change the, the outlook of my window. I'm gonna have big ass windows. I'm gonna have big ass glass windows all around my room. And my office, not in my room. My room will be just for sleeping. It'll be nice, I have tea and everything, but I won't really use it. They're just there for looks. I'll use it if anyone wants to use it. Like, you know, a girl, you know, if anyone wants to watch a movie, yeah, sure. But for the most part, my room is going to be just for sleeping, my office is going to be beautiful, I'm going to have an ocean view, half ocean, half land, it's going to be like ocean here, and then ocean and land here, and then my office in the middle, and then I've got my computer there, the most specked out shit in the entire, you can possibly imagine, minimalist, I like, that. I like the design, minimalism, also like to focus on stuff at hand, you need to do more, <laughs> and then have a big ass modern house, it won't be too homely, I admit, but it will be a sign an insignia of my success. I also have a more homely home back in London, obviously, and you know, in Vietnam, everything is more homely. But above that, I have a really, really nice house. I have a big ass car, two, three big ass cars. I'm thinking of Rolls Royce, I'm thinking of Range Rover, I'm thinking of Ferrari, a Pagani, I'm thinking all this shit. I will not have that. If I continuously indulge myself in video games, manga, in YouTube videos, and this and that, like instead of watching YouTube videos, how about you create YouTube videos? Instead of consuming content in video games, how about you create content in video games? Instead of playing six hours of a game, how about you spend six hours trying to make a game? Now you're slowly working towards creating an asset that will work for you for your entire life. Like, think about the guys that own Fortnite. Like you only know Fortnite is immensely, immensely dead these days. There's something shit that's worth that. You see all the streamers like Ninja are still playing that fucking game. Making them money. It's an asset to that. It's their job. Make money off that. You know, it's the reason why virtual reality called virtual reality. For virtual reality that's not fucking real. It's not reality. Period. Full stop. I don't think people understand it's enough. I share video games a lot because I don't like video games. I get angry at video games, I get angsty at video games. I'm very, very passionate about this topic because to me, like, video games have robbed me of years of my life. Years. I think about that. Years of my life is stolen because of video games. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't get that time back. I don't really get a physical, tangible reward. If, like, there's another person in the video game or IRL, I meet them and then. Like, you know, they see me in video game, I'm level 159, I'm max level, I'm level 1000, and I'm um, mortal 3, and, uh, and then I'm slowly becoming radiant, and then I become radiant, oh, oh and then I got all the skin game, yeah, they might become impressed for like a good minute, but then it just becomes normal for them, and they don't really care anymore. Your accolades have no merit, especially in video games. You know, your accolades barely have merit in real life. You can become a multi-millionaire in real life. 
people that aren't in your immediate family would not give a fuck. Like your mom, for example, she'd be really proud of you and everything, but she'd probably get used to it. Your dad, if you have one, I don't know. <laughs> she'd be really, really proud of you, but you get used to it. Your grandparents, part of you get used to it. And will get used to it. No one really gives that much of a fuck. Your accolades already have little merit. Well, there is little merit in your accolades already. The thing about video games with accolades you accumulate mean less. I'm so glad, like, I've always felt it's, like detached from social media, from Instagram. I felt like detached, to even like, now I'm like, I mean, still there and everything can work, but I don't, I don't care. It's all a post. I feel detached from all of this shit. I feel, I look at Instagram and stuff and I, I feel detached as well. YouTube, I feel detached from it. I'd much rather just post videos. I feel much happier posting videos, content, content instead of consuming content. It's, it's a weird paradigm. Like I always felt this way. That I don't think any, I could possibly tell explain it to everyone. I have a weird, unique outlook on uh, social media, porn video games. It's kind of just like, eh, yeah, whatever. Like I just, I get done with. <laughs> I'll get the 15 minutes done with. Yeah, yeah, I'll get done. I'll never end up like the fucking me him or kick I will get rich or die trying. That's that, that's how do I do this? That quote, get rich or die trying. I understand it completely and utterly because it's so fucking true. Get rich or die trying, guys. This is this is it. This is it. Right now, it's an opportunity to change. Catch you guys next video. Robert, leave me your good time, go. Peace. Leave me your leave me your good time, mediocre. Peace. Bro, every single time this happens, I click the button and it doesn't stop recording. What are you looking at? What the? What the cat doing, bro? Okay, I don't know what else to say.